Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send Shopify abandoned recovery cart messages via WhatsApp. So are you also using Shopify to sell your products online? Then this video is definitely for you. So right here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a furniture store. And for that, I use Shopify to sell my products online. So now what I want is that as soon as a new abandoned cart is made in my Shopify account, automatically with the help of the same details, I want to send an automated whatsapp message so that i can recover this abandoned card and convert it into a sale so to do this we are going to create a connection between shopify and whatsapp to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use public connect it is an amazing automation software so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video, we are going to understand how to send Shopify abandoned recovery card message via WhatsApp. So as you know that I run an online furniture store on Shopify and needed a way to recover my lost sales from abandoned cards. So to automate this, I want to set up a system that triggers whenever a customer leaves their item in their cart without completing the purchase. It automatically sends a personalized WhatsApp message to the customer, reminding them about the abandoned card. By this, I can encourage them to return and complete their purchase, helping recover sales and improve conversion rates effortlessly. So to do all of this, I have simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user, so I am going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all Pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli but in today's video we are going to use Pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli connects account and as soon as we are going to click on access now it is opening my dashboard and to start with automation we are going to click on this button which is create workflow and over here it is asking me for the workflow workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So right here I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and on my dashboard you can see all the folders which I've previously created to save my workflows in and if you wish to learn how to create a new folder or a subfolder you can click on this learn more hyperlink given right over here and now it's asking me for the workflow name. So I want the name of my workflow to be how to send Shopify abandoned recovery cart messages via WhatsApp and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we're going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger and to start with this automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select it as shopify right over here because i want that as soon as a new cart is left abandoned in my shopify account then my workflow should be triggered so i'm going to search for shopify and then we are going to select it and now it is asking me for the trigger event so basically trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so over here for my trigger event i'm going to select it as new abandoned cart checkout so i'm going to select it and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your Shopify account with your Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the admin API access token and the subdomain so to get this we are going to follow this help text and it is saying to generate your API access token log into your Shopify account now navigate to the app section go to the apps and sales channel settings click on the developers app then click on the create an app and over here you can see there is a hyperlink of learn more so i'm going to open this hyperlink right from here and as soon as we're going to open the hyperlink you can see a tutorial on how you can get api access token so you can watch this and get these two so i'm going to follow this same what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my shopify account and navigate to the apps section so i'm going to open my shopify account and now from the left 
left sidebar we have to go on apps and as you can see apps so we have to go on this and as soon as we're going to open our apps over here you can see apps and sales channel settings so we have to go on this apps and sales channel setting and as soon as we're going to come here over here you can see develop apps so we have to go on this develop apps and you can see all the apps which i've previously created but i'm going to create a new for that i'm going to click on create an app and now it is asking me for the app name so let's suppose that i'm going to keep it as test right over here and after keeping as this it is asking me for the app developer so i'm going to select my gmail account right over here and then click on create app and as soon as we're going to select create app you can see over here is configure admin api scopes so you have to click on this button right over here and now over here you can see that it is asking me for some permissions so we're going to select some of the permissions right over here so i'm going to scroll and as you can see customers so i'm going to select both this right customers and read customers we are going to move on forward you can see discount so i'm going to select this both again we are going to move on forward you can see all the permissions you have to select only the permissions you want to give so we're here this saying orders so we are going to select orders we are going to move on forward we are going to look for products you can see products so we are going to select products we are going to move on forward and look for another and we also have to select price rules so for that i'm going to search for price rules and as you can see the same so i'm going to select this right price rules and read price rules so now after doing all of this over here you can see a save button so we are going to click on this save and as soon as we are going to click on this save yes you can see configuration saved so yes with this we have successfully saved this so i'm going to go on api credentials right from here and as soon as we are going to open the api credentials we have to click on this install app button and as soon as we are going to click on this again we have to click on this install and after clicking on this yes you can see admin api access token so over here i'm going to click on reveal token once and as you can see that this is my token so i'm going to copy this token right from here and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow and now it is asking me for the subdomain so over here in the help text you can see that it is saying enter your shopify store subdomain here so i'm going to open my shopify store right from here and as you can see that this is the url of my shopify store so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this url right from here paste it over here in my workflow again and now after pasting this url you can see that it is saying https slash demo dot my shopify dot com then the subdomain you need to enter is demo so over here you can see that over here instead of demo i have admin so i'm going to only enter admin right over here as my subdomain so i'm going to enter it and then we are going to click on save and as soon as we're going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our shopify account with our publis workflow and now it is saying check out order so i'm going to select it as created art and then we are going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on save and send test request i'll just let you know that shopify is a pooling based application so pooling based application means that these applications will check for new data in certain amount of time they're not going to check for new data instantly and over here in the case of shopify it is saying this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes so as soon as i'm going to click on save and send test request right over here the last response or the latest response made in my shopify account will be captured right over here so what we are going to do is first we are going to do a test submission and then we are going to click on save and send test request so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my shopify account right from here and we are going to go on products from the left side bar and over here i'm going to create this automation for this product which is chair so i'm going to click on this view online store button and as soon as we are going to do so yes you can see this is the product i want to create this automation for so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on buy it now right from here and as soon as i'm going to click on buy it now it is asking me for the details so let's suppose that i'm going to enter the details as this email demo at the rate publitudes.com you can see the city country you can see the another details over here for the pin code i'm going to keep it as this you can see the state the city and another details i'm also going to enter the card number so yes now after entering all of this let's suppose that my potential customer got distracted and somehow they were not able to complete this payment so let's suppose that we're going to close this right from here and as soon as we're going to close this yes we have successfully left our cart abandoned and yes with this we have successfully did the test submission too and now what has happened is that shopify will capture the response for the same and send the details to our workflow so yes we have successfully did the test submission and now what we are going to do is we are going to wait for few minutes and then we are going to click on save and send test request and now we have successfully completed few minutes so now i'm going to click on the save and send test request button right over here 
And yes, as soon as we are going to click on the save and send test request button, yes, you can see that we have received a positive response and you can see all the details that we have received from Shopify. You can see the name which we entered, which is demo user. You can see the first name, the last name. You can see the country. You can see the city. We are going to move on forward. You can see the number which we entered and over here you can see product which we made the cart abandoned for. So yes, with this we have successfully completed our test submission and with this we have successfully completed our trigger step so now after capturing this response, what we have successfully done is that as soon as a new abandoned cart is made in my Shopify account, automatically Pabli is going to capture the response for the same. And then further what we want is we want to send an automated WhatsApp message to them. Okay, so we are going to select that action application for the same only. But before moving on further, I just said you know that Shopify is a pooling based application like I told you. And over here it says this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes. So if you wish to reduce or increase this time, you can go on this three dots and then set trigger time and now from here you can reduce this time or increase this time so i'm going to keep it as 10 minutes only and then we are going to move on forward towards our action step but before sending in whatsapp message what i want is i only want to create this automation for a particular product from my store which is this chair so for that i'm going to add a filter condition right over here in my workflow so i'm going to select my action application as filter right over here so filter is a feature by pabli which helps you to add conditions in your workflow and over here I'm going to select my action application as same and now for the action event I'm going to select it as filter values and again we are going to click on connect right over here and as soon as we're going to click on connect it is asking me for the label so over here I'm going to select my product name as label so I'm going to search for chair and as you can see the same so I'm going to select it and after selecting this what I want is that this should be equals to chair so over here in the value I'm going to enter chair right over here so what I want is that let's suppose that some another cart is left abandoned for this this vitamin C serum or this coffee then this workflow will not move on further it will only move on further in the case of chair so yes I've selected the same and now I'm going to click on save and send this request and as soon as we're going to do so yes you can see condition is true because the product for which we left the cart abandoned is chair right over here so now with this we have successfully added this filter step in our workflow and now we're going to move on further we are going to send an automated whatsapp message for that we are going to add another action step right over here and now for my action application I'm going to select it as Vati. So I'm going to use Vati right over here to send WhatsApp messages. You can use any another application like ASNC and if you want you can also use WhatsApp Cloud API to, to send WhatsApp messages but I'm going to use Vati so I'm going to select it and now for the action event I'm going to select it as send template message and then we're going to click on connect right over here and as soon as we're going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Vati account with Pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the API endpoint and the access token so to get this we are going to follow this help text and it is saying navigate to top on your Vati dashboard click on the hamburger icon and then click on the API docs to find your API endpoint and same goes for access token too so I'm going to follow the same I'm going to open my Vati account and as you can see that this is my Vati account so what we have to do is we have to go on this and as you can see a pair dog so I'm going to click on this a pair dogs button right over here and as soon as we're going to come here over here you can see the access token and the a pair endpoint so I'm going to copy both of this right from here and then we're going to paste it right over here in our workflow so I'm going to paste the a pair endpoint and same we are going to do with the access token and after pasting both of this I'm going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our Vati account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the WhatsApp number. So it is asking me the number on which I want to send the message to. So what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to enter the number of my potential customer. But I'm going to map this number not enter it manually. So you must be wondering what is mapping. So mapping is a method by Pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected Shopify as our trigger application. So we're going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we're going to map the these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so I'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the whatsapp number right so let's suppose that I'm going to enter a whatsapp number right over here manually like this by typing it then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and I've entered it manually but if you're going to map this from the previous response suppose I'm going to look for the number right over here and as you can see my number so let's suppose that we are going to map this from the previous response then this 
things will definitely change because my previous response will also change. So that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time. And now it is asking me for the template. So over here you can see the multiple templates which I've already created and I'm going to use one from this only. So to let you know more about templates, first I'm going to open my Vati account. And as you can see that this is my Vati account and over here you can see all the templates which I've created previously. I'm going to use one from this only which is cart abandoned. So if you wish to create a new template, you can go on this new template message button right over here and create one. But I'm going to use this which is cart abandoned. So I'm going to select the same right over here which is cart abandoned. And as you can see the same, so we are going to select it. And now it is asking me for the broadcast name. So I'm going to keep the broadcast name as cart abandoned only. So I'm going to enter it. And now after entering the broadcast name, it is asking me for the custom parameters. So you must be wondering what is custom parameter. So to let you know this, again, I'm going to open my Vati account. And over here, you can see that this is my template. Okay. And over here, you can see that there's name in curly brackets. You must be wondering that why this name is in curly brackets and the rest of the message is plain. Because this name is a variable right over here. I want this name should be replaced with the name of my potential customer every time a new WhatsApp message is sent to make this message a more personalized one. So what we are going to do is we are going to map this name right over here under our custom parameter. And in order to do this, we are going to follow the help text. We are going to copy this example right from below and then we are going to paste it right over here in our custom parameters. So what is saying? It is asking me for the name of my custom parameter. So the name of my custom parameter is name only. So I'm going to enter the same right over here and now it is asking me for the value of that custom parameter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the name right over here so I'm going to look for demo user which is the name and as you can see the same so we are going to map it and after mapping this what we have done is the name of my custom parameter is name and the value for the same is demo user so now after doing all of this we are going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on save and send test request I'll just let you know that the number over here which I entered is a dummy phone number so I'm just going to replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that I can show you the message and the response received so I'm going to replace this number once and now after replacing this number, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as soon as we are going to click on the save and send test request button, yes, you can see that we have received a positive response that we have successfully sent an automated WhatsApp message with the template name. And over here, you can see the value to this number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my WhatsApp and check for the WhatsApp message received. So I'm going to open my WhatsApp directly right from here. And yes, you can see hi demo user. So over here, you can see that we map demo user. So yes, it has come the correct only it is saying hi demo user we notice you left something in your cart at abc store do not miss out complete your purchase now and get free shipping feel free to reach out if you need any help best regards abc store so yes with this we have successfully sent an automated whatsapp message and with this we have successfully completed our workflow but i'll just summarize this workflow for you once so what i did is i selected shopify as my trigger application and new cart abandoned checkouts as my trigger event and now for my action applications I selected filter by Pabli and Vati. So why I did this because I wanted that as soon as a new abandoned cart is made in my Shopify account automatically with the help of the same details an automated WhatsApp message should be sent to my potential customer so that we can increase the conversion rates and over here you can see a dummy message which I sent to my customer with the help of my workflow during this video and now you don't have to come back in again to your workflow and click on save and send test request directly as soon as a new cart is left abandoned in your Shopify account, automatically Pabli is going to trigger this workflow and an automated WhatsApp message would be sent to that potential customer. You don't have to come back in again to your workflow and click on save and send us request. So yes, this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video and for your reference, I'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications but with the help of Pabli you can integrate many more applications. So now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.